Welcome back lighting friends, Rob from Pathway Connectivity Solutions with another demonstration of the Cognito Lighting Control Console. Last time we talked about recording memory pages and managing memory pages so you can run different looks off of the handles up top here. And as promised, this time we are going to talk about recording cues. So uh, we have a fancy new Light Converse visualizer here so we can actually see a stage alongside the lighting desk and what it's doing. So um, just to give you an idea, I have here um, a handle that controls the front light of my lead singer and my um, uh, bass player, my piano player, my drummer, and everything else that we do here. So um, what we want to do first off is create something pretty and then we're going to record that to a playlist and we're going to call it Q1 probably or a preset. So let's see how this goes. So from my select task here, I'm just going to release everything out. So we're working from pretty much a blackout. And I'm going to select from my groups here, my psych lights, just like that. Then in control, I'm going to hit the intensity control button. And then I hit the C button to take those lights to full. So here we have lights lighting up the back of the psych. Now that's not uh, the, the prettiest color. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the color button on the desk. And I'm going to select from my libraries here. And I have an amber that I have pre-recorded in a library. And that's, that's pretty. I could also choose to uh, pick from maybe the Roscoe libraries or the Lee libraries or GAM or uh, Apollo library. So let's just pick, uh, let's try number 25, orange, red. There we go. That's a bit moody. Maybe what we want to do is bring the intensity down a little bit. So I'm just going to lower the level down. There we go. So this is going to be our preset. So now this is where we come to recording our first cue. So you press the record button on the console and the options show you here. You could record memories, which we've done in a previous video, cues, which we're going to do today, libraries, which we'll get into later and groups. So of course, we're going to record a cue into a playlist. So the currently selected playlist is playlist one. There's already cues in there. There's a playlist two, playlist three, there's one called color space. What I'm going to do is create my own very brand new playlist here. So I'm going to press the more button and I am going to press the add list button here. And it's um, suggesting that we're going to call it Playlist 5, great name for now. And it's suggesting at the very top of this that we add a new queue, which is what we want to do. And there are properties that we can edit here. So I am going to actually edit the name by touching the keyboard here. And I'm going to call this Preset. And the fade in time, five seconds, well, that's not so uh, good, so I could touch the keyboard here and let's say we'll call that two seconds. Now the fade down time, which is on the C wheel, it's not fading down from anywhere. So we're happy with using this dash saying that the any, but anybody, if they were fading down in level, will use the fade time, which is two seconds. And those are just the basic properties. There's others that we'll get into in, in subsequent videos, um, but this is good enough for now. So we're going to press the done button. And what done does is it takes us immediately back to control because it's probably thinking that we're going to build another queue based on this queue. So um, let's just see where this is playing back for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the play task. And if we look at the left playback, it is currently using playlist five, which is where we were. So if you see down here, the uh, go button is green, which means that we are soaking in the queue. If you look up in the status bar, playlist five is shown to be playing on the left playback. And if you look up on the right hand side here, playlist two is not currently in a queue. That's why it's dash dash dash. And it's playing back on the right playback. So we're not interested in that right now. We are quite happy with the green go button on our left side and we are quite happily soaking in the preset queue. So we can now go back to control and 
build our next queue. So I'm going to hit the B button, which will take the selected lights. And I know that currently there are 10 lights that are selected. They probably are the 10 cyclorama lights that we selected and set to uh, Roscoe 25 earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those 10 lights by pressing the B button to a level of zero. And that will let our audience know that we're about to begin our show. So let's record that. So again, we press the record button. And lo and behold, it is actually suggesting we record Q2. And it's actually highlighted here saying, let's add a new Q with a default time of five seconds, Q2. So let's just relabel this Q2 FTB, fade to black. And we're happy with that. And we press done. So now we can bring uh, our psych back up. Let's bring it up to say 50% and let's change its color. Uh, so I'm going to hit the color control button and we could pick a new color from the library or we could go into the color picker and select something. Let's give something with a little bit of depth here. There we go, a little bit. Just a little bit more interest there. And now we need to bring up our front light on our singer. So um, to do that, I'm going to go into select here. And I know that number three is our lead singer's front light. So I'll just push that up to a level that we're happy with. It doesn't have to go all the way up. Let's just ghost it in. And four, five, six will be the band and seven would be her backlight. So we'll just give her a little bit of a backlight. Maybe we'll take the backlight up and we'll just ghost her in a little bit to let people know things are started. So now we're really rolling along here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit record and it's already suggesting to record a new cue and I'm happy with everything. So rather than labeling things and setting times and all the rest of it, let's just press the record button again. And that has recorded the next cue automatically. So the next cue might be to bring up the band. So that is four, five, and six. Bring up their lights a little bit. Their backlights are here on eight, nine, and 10. A little gobo break up on the floor. And we better pump her up because she's gonna start singing. And there we go. And maybe at this point, we might change the um, psych lights. To a different color so we go into control and we'll just shift to there just brighten it up hair there that's starting to look good so now let's record this as my next cue and there it is it's suggesting the next cue we'll label this one she sings and now for the first time, we've changed both intensities and color. So let me go to the um, properties while I'm recording this cue. And instead of basic properties, I'm gonna hit the down arrow here. And I see follow properties, follow and link properties. We're not interested in that right now. I'm gonna hit the down arrow for the second time. And we get to position and color times. And what I wanna do is I want to delay the color fade a little bit um, by let's just say one second and make the color fade it very subtly over 10 seconds. So we will roll the C wheel 10 ticks till we get to 10 seconds. And we're going to press done because we're happy with that. And when we get to the play task, you see we're looking at the left playback and here is our playlist of cues. And we're currently sitting in She Sings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to triple click on preset and that will put us into the preset. That is the go command or alternately we could release the playlist altogether by pressing this button here and then it goes away. It's not talking to the stage. Now this little green arrow here shows that when I press the go button, we are going to go into the preset. So here we are running our cues. There's the two second fade up into the preset. The audience comes in. They're all getting their drinks, sitting down, ready for the show. 
what are we going to do? Stage management says, stand by, fade to black. And we say, all right, standing by, fade to black, go. There's the five second fade out. And now we are ready for Q3, which is uh, to bring up the ghosting lights. Let's go on Q3. Beautiful transition, lovely. Audience is quiet, ready to go. And then go on her singing. So that brings up her lights. There's a little bit of a delay before the color changes. And then now we have the lovely 10 second transition into the new song. So from this position, we can actually now go back to select and change some other things and record our next cue. So I am going to grab her front light, which is a little bit hot here. And when I grab it and I catch the level with the handle, I can bring it down. And let's say we go off to a bass solo. So we push him up just a little bit brighter. So now we move the attention there. Now this is another way to quickly record cues. If you're using multiple playlists, you may want to be uh, recording to this one and recording to that one. So very quickly to record the next cue to my left playlist, what I want to do is press record and I'm going to press the go button on the left playlist and that has recorded us to the next cue there. So now we can actually run from anywhere. We don't have to be in the play task to run. So currently we're sitting in cue five as seen here. If I back up, I will back up into She Sings, and then pressing the Go button will advance us into the bass solo. And you can see that here. So just a little explanation of what you're looking at in the Select task here. There's lots of different colors on here. Obviously these center colors here on these lights are showing what's happening on the cyclorama across the back here. But these rings have different colors. So as you run different cues, um, I'm just backing up now into, uh, there's our fade to black. And now let me just advance into Q3, which brings up her front light and her back light. If you look at that, uh, her front light, which is three, has a cyan colored arc, and so does her back light, because they went up. We say blue to the sky, up to the sky. Now we go into the next queue, and we'll see some other changes. You'll see that the... Um, Bands lights have come up in level. Her backlight hasn't changed. That's why it's purple. It's a um, level that hasn't changed since the previous cue. The intensity hasn't changed on the cyclorama. That's why its levels are also purple. But if you look inside, you'll actually see a little paintbrush, which means that the color has changed in this cue. Now let's carry on to the next cue. And this is where we take her backlight down. That's why it's green. You think of green, you think of grass, you think of the ground. Levels going down to the ground. And the bass player's light has gone up to the sky, blue. That's why it is blue. And everybody else has stayed the same level in its color. So that's a very quick overview of recording cues, setting a little bit of timing, and understanding what's going on in the uh, select display of the lights while you are running cues. So next time we'll talk about editing cues and changing some more of the advanced properties.